Welcome to Bot Sailor. Today in this video, we will see how to create an e-commerce store to use inside a Telegram bot by using the Bot Sailor. We'll start by creating an e-commerce store and then integrate it with the Telegram bot. So, let's get started on setting up an e-commerce site. From the dashboard of Bot Sailor, click on the e-commerce store from the left navigation menu. Then click on the Create Store button. We can create two types of e-commerce store, physical and digital. Select the type of the store first. Select the Telegram bot for which you want to create e-commerce store and give a store name. Then we need to put an email address. We can also use a phone number but it's not mandatory. Select your country from the drop-down list. And then put the state and city. We must fill up all the mandatory fields. Now let's upload a logo and favicon for the store. If we prefer, we can also use Facebook Pixel ID and Google Analytics ID. Then there's the option of going online or offline. Keep it online. Then click on Terms of Services and write the terms and conditions if you have. If you want, you can leave it blank. Then, if you have one, write the refund policy. Finally, click on the Create Store button. We can change any of these details at any time using the store settings. Just click on the store settings to edit any time. Now that we have created our e-commerce store, now we will add products and payment gateway. Click on the checkout settings to add payment methods. We have three options for payment methods. Use whichever is suitable for you. For PayPal, we just need to put the PayPal email. We have options for recurring payments. Then we have a sandbox mode, and then the status. We need to keep this active. And for Stripe, we will need the Stripe secret key and Stripe publishable key. Make sure that the status is active. For cash on delivery, we just need to enable it. Each payment method has currency formatting, we can change the currency from the drop-down list and do the formatting. We may change the location of the money signs, which is useful because some currency signs are used on the right. The decimal place can also be specified. We can enable commas for thousand too. Then we have checkout settings. Here we can add the percentage of the tax if there is any. And the delivery charge amount. In delivery preference, we have store pickup and home delivery enable and disable options. Then we have preparation time, this is very useful for restaurants. Then we have the scheduled order option, if we enable this option then customers can ask for scheduled delivery. We can select the scheduled time range from the list. Then we have login preference if we enable the guest purchase then the customers don't need to log in to purchase. If this is disabled then the customers must be logged in to purchase. Then we have address preference. Customers must enter such details when adding a delivery address, which is enabled here. Save the checkout settings. Then we have appearance settings, we can change the color of the theme. We have product grouping, product viewing, and product sorting. We can change the font of the store. We can change the title of the Buy Now and Store Pickup button. For example, instead of Buy Now we can use Purchase Now. We can disable the Buy and Add to Cart functions at any moment from this page. We might want to turn them off while upgrading the shop or something. We also have a WhatsApp Send Order button. If we enable this option then customers can get their purchase info and all the notification to WhatsApp upon clicking this button. If we enable this option then we need to add a WhatsApp number that will be used to send notifications. This is the text of the WhatsApp send order. Then we have business hour settings. We can set it as always open or we can set times for different days. Then we have categories. We just need to give a name for a category and a thumbnail for the category. 
We can add as many categories as we want. Then we have attributes. For clothes, attributes are sizes and colors. Customers need to select the size or color of the cloth. So we will create attributes and add their values. We need to give a name for the attribute here. Then the values, we need to put different values separating them by a comma. In this case, we will keep the multi-select disabled because customers can't select a different size for a cloth. Also, this cannot be optional. And let's keep it active. We will add another attribute for color. Then we have products. Here we will add products. Click on the add button. Put the name of the product. Add price. If the product has a selling price with off you can add that price here. Then we have options to add related products, upsell products, and downsell products. Select the category. Then comes the attribute. Click on this box to add attributes. We have the ability to adjust the price for different attributes as soon as we add an attribute to a product. Different property values can be increased or decreased. For example, this product's extra large size has an increased price, so we will add the extra value here. Then we have product descriptions and purchase notes. Then add the product thumbnail and featured image of the product. Then we need to add the number of items in stock. We have options for displaying the stock and preventing purchase if the product is out of stock. We can change the status of the product. If it's taxable select yes. Then we have options to make this product featured on the e-commerce store. Finally, click on the save button to add the product to the store. We can add as many products as we want. We can visit the store by clicking on the Visit Store option. Then we have Delivery Point. If you have any delivery points then you can add them here. Give a point name and details of the delivery point. We can generate QR codes for the store. You can download the QR code and print that for users to scan and access the store. Then we have coupons. We can create a coupon code for the store. If the coupon is for particular products then we need to add those products here. Leave this blank if the coupon is for the full store. Select the type of coupon. Put a coupon code. And then add coupon amount, if the coupon type is percentage then we need to put the number of percentages, for other options we need to put the amount. Then we need to give an expiry date for the coupon. We can give a maximum number of coupons, but this is not mandatory. If you want to give a limited number of coupons then add the number here. We can see the list of signed up customers here. We can see all the orders here. We would change the order status from here. We can copy the store URL from here. We can also get category Y store URLs. Then we have order status notifications. There are three ways to send order status notifications to customers. We can send messages to Telegram, on phone by SMS, and by email. There are default messages for each status, we can edit them if we like. After then, there's confirmation and a reminder. We offer three options for sending confirmation and reminder messages, just like we do for status notifications. Reminder messages are very important for your e-commerce store. If a user adds items to their cart but forgets to check out, we can send them three reminder messages at different times. 
we have a default message for each reminder, we can change them if we like. We can see the reminder reports from here. We can delete the store from here. Now, we will see how to add this e-commerce store inside a Telegram bot. We can add this e-commerce store to any of our existing bots. Or, we can create a new bot to add this e-commerce store. An e-commerce store could be used in different bots at the same time. Let's see how to do that. Go to the bot manager from the left navigation menu of the bot sailors dashboard. Select the bot account and then click on bot reply. Click on create button. This will redirect you to the visual flow builder. Give a name for the bot. Add a trigger and connect it with the start bot flow. We need to add keywords for the trigger. Double click on it and put keywords separating them by a comma. Let's add a text reply. And then as the next reply add an e-commerce element from the dock menu and connect it. Double click on the element and select the store from the list. Put a button text and add a text reply. Save the bot after that. Now, let's check the bot and e-commerce. We can see these orders on our e-commerce store on Bot Sailor. We can change the order status from here. As soon as we change the order status, the customer will get a message on their Telegram. This is how we can set an e-commerce store on the Telegram bot by using the Bot Sailor. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.